everybody. Welcome to my channel, Knowledge Quotient. In our last video, we learned a basic introduction about Scratch, a block-based programming language. Today we will create our first project named Hide and Seek where Sprite hides and you have to click on it when it shows up. It is adapted from the Scratch Starter project. So let's get started. Open your web browser. And enter the Scratch URL scratch.mit.edu. It will redirect you to the Scratch editor. Then click on Create option. A new editor will open. If you are new to Scratch then join Scratch and create the account. Since I have already my Scratch account, I will enter my credentials. A sprite, named Cat is present in the section called the stage. Next to the stage all the selected sprites or characters are available. You can select sprites from all those four available options. In this project, we will select sprites from the pre-existing sprite library. Similarly, you can select different backgrounds from all available options. The center position of the editor is called as coding area, where we will do coding for the project. Since Scratch is a block-based coding environment, here we will drag the blocks from the block palette section to the coding area. Just before the block palette section, you can find some color balls. These color balls are called color palettes. Each color palette is having different blocks. We will use those blocks according to our requirements. Now we will take some other sprites, before that. Let us delete this sprite. You can delete a sprite. Either right click on sprite and select the delete option. Or click on that bin just above the sprite. Then choose a sprite from the sprite library. The name of the sprite is Ghost. In the costume section which is present next to the code tab, you can find different costumes of that particular sprite. Next, we will select a backdrop from the scratch library. We can change the name of the sprite. We can adjust the size of any sprite by changing the values. In X and Y sections, we can adjust the position of sprite according to the requirement. Go to the event color palette and drag the first block. Here the green flag refers to the flag which is present directly above the stage. Next, we will set the position of ghost. Go to motion color balls and drag the go to x and y block and set the values. Next, we will show a message. For that go to looks and drag say block and write a message inside the text box like click me to score points. We need a variable, which will show the score. So variable color palette, and create a variable score. It will visible in the stage area. So when the sprite is clicked, we will change the variable score to 1. We have to set the variable score to 0 when the green flag is clicked. Now we will execute our code to check. Is it working fine as per our given instructions or not?
Next, we will hide the ghost and after a break. Two seconds we will set the random position of the sprite. To set the random position, go to the operator and drag two random position blocks. Place inside X and Y value of go to block. Now change the values. Next, we show the hidden ghost so that, after set in random position, it will visible for one second. So give a waiting time of one second. Execute the code and check code. Is required for any changes? Oh, yes. It is working fine. We will put a condition that, if the score is equal to zero, then show a message. Game over. And we will stop the script so that, no movement will happen after the game over. Execute the program and check your condition is satisfying the criteria or not. Enter the name of the project and save it now. Our first project on Scratch is ready to share.